What's up everyone? It is Kane Notkasugi back in my Kane Notkasugi jersey and you know what that means. It's time to compete again. A couple weeks ago, I went to my first ever qualifier for tier two of World Ninja League. It's for beginner ninjas and I won. Because I won, I automatically qualified for regionals and today I'm going to regionals. Regionals is very simple. It's like semifinals of A&W. You want to qualify for this in order to go to the world championship for tier two, where we can find out if I'm the best amateur ninja in the world or not. So yesterday I was mentally prepping and you know, trying to get ready for this competition. And I checked the WNL site for all of the stats and leaderboards because all of my results are on there. And I saw that I had already qualified for worlds because what they do is per region, they take the top three athletes based off of their point values from competitions and they automatically give them a spot at Worlds. For example, if you won enough competitions, winning is 10 points, so if you win two competitions, 20 points, and if, you know, that adjusts your placement on the ranking, on the leaderboard. If you are in the top three position on the leaderboard, you can even tie for second or third, you automatically get a spot to Worlds. I tied for second, I'm going to Worlds. And that means that I have like zero consequence on what happens in this run. I can now just go for broke and I am so excited. I am proud of myself for doing what I did at qualifiers because I only trained for a week, but I've definitely learned a lot more and gotten stronger, I would say, already. Uh, and I feel more confident in my abilities now. I wanna put that to the test. I wanna put in as much effort as I physically have in me. So that way I know what I need to work on for Worlds. Because if I am fully committing and going full send on a course run, and I mess up, I know what I need to fix and adjust and practice so that way when I get back in those moments again, when I go back to Worlds for competition, I'm hopefully not making the same mistake twice. Of course I'd like to win, of course I would like to clear the course, but at the end of the day, I'm really just trying to learn from this experience now that I know that I am going to Worlds. Beyond that, this is just still an amazingly exciting day because this competition is gonna be live streamed on Facebook, which means my loved ones actually get to watch me run the course live for the first time, and I'm very excited. Also going to be meeting someone else who is competing. I've known this person for a couple years on Discord. They're a fellow Sasuke YouTuber, and now we get to meet in person and run the course together. So why don't we go meet him? Let's uh, head over to the gym. Kane, are you, are you Kane from the Sasuke Nerds? Yes. Wow. Hey, we're chilling. So Kane is running in young adults. I'm running in adults. We're not against each other, but we do have the same course, so we could compare times, but we both are already qualified for Worlds off of points. Let's go. So we're going to Texas. Anything we want to say to my uh, Subscribe to the Sasuke Nerds. The side though. Go with the world. Yes. Kane, how are we feeling about the course? Uh, scared. Why? It's terrified. It's the balance thing. The balance thing. Also right. the lachets. Hiding right there. And we got the lachet bars right there, jumping bars. I lachet like a Polish competitor. Oh, oh my gosh. So the guys have to do an extra obstacle over the girls and it is, it is this one right above me. You can see those orange rings in those little slots. They call it the CD changer. It is pretty tough and it's pretty upper body oriented. Um, but I can, I can actually, guys, I can, I can dismount it. Just, I can just move it slightly and dismount. Um, anyways, it's actually going to be pretty tough because this is a 12 obstacle course and we have to, we have two minutes, 50 seconds. So we'll see.
killed it, man. You killed it. Nice. Oh, oh my gosh. I feel so good about my run. Like that was, I didn't win. I already checked the times. I got second by four seconds and I know exactly where, uh, I know exactly where the other guy beat me. It was because he basically jumped through the balance tank and I actually went through the balance tank. But at the end of the day, I did what was what I felt comfortable with while moving at a fast pace that was so much faster than I thought it was gonna go. And I linked the laches and I did, I practiced everything that I practiced, I got right. I'm regardless, first, second, I don't care. I am very happy with my run. I'm, I'm just I'm super stoked. Okay, and how you feeling? Sad. But it is what it is. I mean, you still killed it regardless. I sucked at last year. Don't put that out. <laughs> but no, it's uh, it's, it's been really cool. Kane and I are gonna do some some open gym probably. He wants to try some wing nuts, maybe some salmon ladder. Um, so enjoy the rest of uh, of all of these attempts at obstacles, and then I'll uh, close out the video. That was my first time Thanks again for watching you guys. Shout out to Kane on TSN and it's just yeah. it's been an absolute blast getting to meet him. Shout out and, um, to Kane Nakasugi for being an elite content creator. Ooh. Get out of my outro. No, you get out of my get outro. Get out of my outro. Get out of my get outro. Get out of my outro. Get out.